All right, guys, it's another Tuesday, and uh, we got some new fishing, so I'm just gonna jump into this and show you what we got. So I'm in the upstairs part, just uh, figuring out where everybody up here goes. We already got downstairs settled, and before I uh, float everybody, I just wanted to check out, there were a few cool looking, we had this uh, giant Asian perch. That's not something that we get in every week. Kinda neat. Um, it looked like this week we got in a lot of good looking rams. Let's see, where were they? Some good balloon gold rams, um, electric blue rams. They're definitely gonna look a lot better once we get them floating, uh, you know, acclimated. But we also got these chocolate garamis, which are always a lot of fun. And um, the past couple weeks we've been getting in these starry night eels. Um, they're also called African uh, fanatis pretty neat little guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out who's going and where and uh, get a better look on all these guys in a minute. So while everything's floating upstairs I thought I'd come down and point out we got in these Arapaima gigas. gigas. Um, we haven't gotten in Arapaimas in a long time and though they look pretty small right now as little babies these are actually one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Uh, they get up to what is it about 10 feet, possibly bigger. I think the world record was somebody caught one that was 450 pounds. So yeah, I would not recommend getting one of these for a small tank. I mean, I actually probably wouldn't even recommend it for even a giant tank. These should be in like large ponds and lakes and rivers because yeah, you're, whatever size your tank is, you're probably not gonna have a big enough one for when it gets older. Um, they are really awesome fish, but definitely one of the biggest in the world. And we also got some more uh, saber tusk barracudas. These guys are looking pretty nice. Um, a little tiny peacock bass. And yeah, there's another one of the arapaimas. They came in looking good. Uh, hopefully whoever buys them has an extremely large tank or uh, hopefully an outdoor setup for these big monstrous awesome um, fish. Got in some more arowanas, just regular silvers. We also got a little young albino arowana in here as well. He's 250. He seems to be having a little, a little trouble adjusting right now. So I'm keeping a close eye on him. But other than that, we got some nice flower horns in. Oh, these are fun fish. Uh, just another barracuda. Uh, some little jardinis. Got a whole lot of little baby fish recently. And a needle nose gar. All these came in today. Silver tiger datinoid. That's pretty cool. A bunch of little uh, red parrots or blood parrots in the back. And uh, since since Billum, since Billium cichlids. Some uh, some more uh, arowanas. Some big old clown loaches. These guys are always fun. Little tiny red parrots and some jewel cichlids in there with them. Of course, always got Oscars. And was that a, I thought that was a black tail Pracha Lotus at first, but I think it's uh, a tinfoil barb or something. Where'd he go? Is that a tinfoil barb? Or? I'm not sure. But yeah, that's uh, most of the excitement of what we got down here in the downstairs. Nice red belly paku. Got an albino one upstairs. Uh, another one of those zebra LT cats, the uh, Frankius Jurorenzi, I think. A nice gold tiger datinoid. Some more little bichers, bikers, whatever. A little Indo tiger datinoid. Red blue to Gelsi glacier. Oh, 
spot, uh, green spotted puffers. I actually got one of these guys at home I got at the auction uh, for a dollar. <laughs> it's a little Giardini. I think everybody upstairs is probably settled in, so I'm gonna go check them out. Uh, here's a Iranian Jaya. A, whoa, tiger dadnoid. That guy's a little pricey. Whoa, full of energy. So before I go upstairs, um, a customer came in, and I remembered I'd set aside some things. I got some Dabawi cats. I'm gonna take home whatever he doesn't get because these guys like to be in numbers. I already have three at home, but I'm gonna add probably another three of them to my collection, make them more comfortable. And also, let's see, got a little peacock gudgeon. I'm gonna give these guys a try. I'm gonna probably order a couple more for next week. Got some nice uh, shadowfin cats. Came in pretty nice looking. As well as this uh, four line cat. This guy's gonna get huge. But for now, he's just tiny. Ah, these tadpoles this week came in huge. They usually come in like about half that size. They're usually like this little guy over here. Uh, definitely came in good size this week. And here we got in some soul flounders. S O L E. Flounders. Soul. Soul. Pretty neat little guys. We got some much tinier ones before. Um, also got some horse face loaches in there with them. piling up here. Alright, bringing a couple of these CBDs up. Uh, somebody bought the rest, so I'm bringing these little guys up to go in here. Uh, not this tank, this is got the Neon Tetras and White Neons. The Cardinals and the Rummy Nose, the CBD is going to go in with them. And then we'll go check out everybody's in their spots now. Alright, so got a banjo cat and a leopard temopama. Bunch of little Du Boise cichlids. Some Demonsoni. These guys are awesome. Here's that um, was a Asian perch. Uh, I gotta print up a name tag and price for it. I forgot to do that. Got a buffalo cichlid, that, the buffalo head cichlid that's uh, back there somewhere, kind of hiding behind there. I guess he's taking his time getting used to it. The sun cat, some of the Judeochromis, and the Koya cichlid. Nice archer fish. These guys are always one of my favorites. Yeah, pig nose puffer, just chilling. Uh, another one of these uh, African butterfly fish. There was a, a big seller. A four line cat. Uh, True Red Terror. Not looking so uh, terror filled there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Got a red whiptail cat and a rainbow cichlid. Here's that electric cat from uh, a week or so ago. Uh, surprisingly, he hasn't sold yet. Sometimes the really, really oddball ones will last a little longer before getting bought. The uh, Namdopsis Mataguense, um, also a red tiger. Uh, electric blue Carpinti cichlid. Uh, dolphin mormorid. These guys are always neat. Uh, Spotted head stander and an admirate head stander. Just chilling, standing on their heads. <laughs> Got a Cynodonis multiplantatus and another leopard temopama. Now, here's some of the rams. We got some, uh, some German rams, the gold rams. Got some balloon gold rams. 
and balloon blue rams, which aren't looking too blue right now. Got some electric blue rams and electric blue balloon rams. They're looking pretty nice. And some gold rams. Came in looking pretty nice. And not really as gold as I'd like them to be, but the electric blues came in pretty nice, that's for sure. Uh, it's a sex fasciatus, uh, Disticotus sex fasciatus. We've had him for a little while. Here's the uh, African uh, Venatus, the Starry Night Eagle. Yeah, we've been getting these guys in lately, and they're they're pretty cool. I like their designs. I might end up getting one or two of them. Let's see, not much new over here. Just uh, green Texas Carpinti cichlids, Calvis, black convicts, Honduran blue convicts, green severum, marble datinoid. Here's the chocolate garamis. You guys are so cute, tiny little chocolate garamis. Um, it's a blue botia. A little whiptail cat and uh, a little pike cichlid hiding out there. A common pike cichlid. Pike cichlids look pretty cool when they get bigger, that's for sure. They're kind of boring right now. King Kong puffer just hanging out. little tiny Fajaca puffer. I got I got mine when he was about this size. Mine's now probably about that size after just only a couple months. King Kong puffer, that's probably about the size of my Fajaca right now. Got a Mirius puffer. These guys are the regular Congo puffers. What I've been looking for is the spotted Congo puffer, the Shodentai. Can't find any yet. I found one guy breeding them in the US, but He's, you know, a couple hundred bucks, so might wait on that one. Uh, got some small Fronto uh, Frontosas. Got a Barloella, which my boss spelled really wrong. Got to get another one to fix that. And a little uh, Gara Rufa, Dr. Fish. Uh, Albino Paradise Fish. Black Belt Cichlid. American flag killies, some shadow fin cats, some pictus cats, looking nice and lively, and some little little tiny dovi over here. Just a bunch of different cichlids, some larger dovis, some pink cichlid, pink convicts, uh, the lamplay luli, orange, nothing too special, but pink chalcius, they're pretty neat. Baby whale. Nothing too special. But another one was Anastomus, Anastomus. Some young little black bar silver dollars. We used to have one in here that was like huge and probably like that big. There's the little young ones. Some Synodonis cats. And uh, feather, black feather fin knife, and a little rope fish. Got a nice waru just chilling here. Got two warus, uh, port, porthole catfish, I think? Uh, yeah, porthole cat. And we got a red hook metennis, an albino red belly paku. And black calvis. Bunch of little black ghost knife fish, some of my favorites. You guys remember I have a big old one. It's now living at my brother's house in the 150. I've had that guy forever. Some exodons and paradise fish. That's about all. That big old pleco. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs now and check out the saltwater fish for you saltwater fans out there. So down here in the land of saltwater, got some really cool eels. A nice little shrimp. Those eels. Whoa, oh, these guys sticking their heads way up there. <laughs> I 
some little Phoenix shrimp back there. The quick grab ones that usually sell out super fast. And those of you in the area, um, we have the Sunday bag lot sales. We've been up to 50% off for salt water. That's why we guarantee we move everything out within a week. So you can get some pretty amazing deals if you get here early on a Sunday. Nice anemones. Yeah, nice. The horn shark. Some more eels. There's a marble cat shark underneath in there. Bunch of little damsels. These are always so colorful and interesting looking. <laughs> Ooh, little clown. We got some tomato clowns in the back there. Little blue tans. Flame angels. Some little firefish. We love the firefish. And this has such a neat little look to them. Yeah, little uh, coral cats. Yellow tangs. A couple butterflies in there in between. A squirrel. I know, is it? Still uh, working my way through salt water, so I don't quite know it as well as I know fresh water, that's for sure. I think that's the Atlantic Blue Tang. Hmm. Oh, dog face puffer. I've always really like these little dog face puffers. We always have little kids in here pointing out everything that was in Finding Nemo. It's the main thing you hear kids yelling out here, their parents. Got some nice angels. Some uh, more blubber jellyfish, but this time instead of the black ones that we usually get, we got some uh, these like ice blue blubber jellies. That was pretty interesting. And some more little seahorses. And a pretty awesome pipefish. And of course, some pretty neat corals as always. Decent selection. A really cool blue spiny lobster. Well, that's about all there is to see here today. All the new stuff we got in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.